Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here and for today's video I just wanted to talk about the Crystal 5 because I finally got one. I said in my last video I was going to make a video on this since I do have one now. So the way I obtained this, I'll just put up a little clip here of me getting it. So you haven't missed out on much yet. But I guess you could prepare. Um, alright, do I get a Crystal 5? One more on Karma, what do I get? Oh, okay. It's a bow. Is it a Crystal 5 though? That's the real question here. I'll just open up the rest, because why not? Wait, did I just get two? Wait. I think I just got two. Or wait, did I get three? Wait, I think I got three. Hold on. Alright, one of these has to be Crystal 5, I swear. We got three right over here. Because I think I had four. Alright, let's see. Crystal 4, 4, and 4, okay. This, this game's- oh wait, wait, right there, Crystal 5! Wait, I got it! Let's go! I got a Crystal 5! Now I can make a video on this. As you can see, you can get them from the Gear Crafters Vault, and the cool thing that I've noticed about it is every time I open something from it, I always get something with two stars on it. So I think this is what the new plan is going to be. So what you want to do is pick one character, just one class, and try to get them to 45k PR. Once you can do that, you want to obviously save up your uh, gear crafters vault as much as you can. And once you do, you can start opening those for a chance to get crystal five because getting an early start like two stars on this is very crucial because you'll be saving some resources because you probably don't want to spend a bunch of nitro or forge fragments. You still have to. Uh, same with the tempered block stuff, but that's just a new resource. You'll have to get that whenever the update comes out. But basically what I'm trying to say is, is that once you get them at two stars, You'll have a little bit of an easier time upgrading these things and from my last video it looks like the prices have changed for these things i don't know if they're going to change them again but i'll be sure to update you guys if they do so just going over to the loot collector i just want to show you like what it looks like to loot collect these things so we get 90 crystalline cores from the crystal four stuff so if you do need cores this is literally the best way right now and if you're struggling with power rank i do have power rank guides so you should check that out if you're struggling the basic idea for that is just try to find little things that will up your power rank don't focus on the large picture of i need to get to this amount so if you need to do stuff with gems do that if you need to do stuff with gear do that if you need to get if you need a better ally just go for that although the ally won't really get you much uh perma torches anything really that gets your power rank up there just focus on the little things but you can check out my power rank guide if you want help with that but basically crystal 4 will give you 90 i have a fully upgraded crystal 4 here so that's 425 and crystal 5 gear does not take crystalline cores so that's why you can't get them from when you loot collect it and just from looking at the stuff that you get from it it's really not that much i thought we would get maybe a little bit more of these uh block things the block element Maybe a little bit more forge frags, maybe a bit more cosmic gem dust, but I mean, I guess this is what it is at the moment. So my two star crystal five is at 1120 and I'm just going to fully pearl it. So we go to the enchanted forge and I'm just going to spam my upgrades, get everything I can on it. And now we go up to 1540. So it's almost higher powering than my current crystal four gear. I just have to upgrade it a few times and that's at level two. So once I get it up a few times, then it'll pass this. Um, if you want to know the to total PR, all of the new changes, basically everything you need to know about like what resources you need, how many of the resources, I'll put up a link to the spreadsheet I did in my last video. I don't want to say the values now because it might change in the future, but at the moment a full set for one class is 50,400 forge fragments, 165,000 nitro, and 450 tempered block elements. And that's just for one class and for the three pieces the hat face and the weapon so i recommend checking out the link in the description because these values might change going into the live servers i'm on the pts by the way just in case you guys didn't know i've been getting asked why people aren't seeing this on uh, the live servers but that's because this is on the pts right now so nothing is on the live servers at the moment this update will probably go out in like i don't know maybe a month maybe a little bit less than a month we'll see and then for you console people i really have no idea the idea is that a month later the update should drop but it's usually super late for console people so in the meantime you guys can just gather resources get your nitro get your forge fragments get your chaos cores everything that you need basically i'll leave the spreadsheet in the description so you can try to gather everything that you can and the other thing i wanted to mention is for crystal 5 you can get them other ways like delves and uh, u11 so five star dungeons or the uh, u11 towers it's not like it's going to be a super common drop or anything but you can get them there and i'm pretty sure you can only get them at zero stars now it's not going to do anything with the power rank or anything like that so don't worry about it 
It will eventually get to the end goal power rank of these Crystal 5 gear. It's not like a 2 star empowered gem versus a 3 star empowered gem, so you don't have to worry about all that stuff. This is just going to save you time, so the Gear Crafter's Vault is the thing that you're going to be looking for. And then trying to get a class 245k power rank, because once you do that, you can start farming your Crystal 5 a little bit more better. Because at Karma Bar, you're guaranteed either a Crystal 4 or a Crystal 5, assuming you don't get other stuff like a Tempered Block Element or uh, any of the other stuff. I'm pretty sure there's some allies that you can get from it. And yeah, apart from that, there isn't really much else I want to talk about for that. There are some new things in the Chaos Crafter, so like we got some new mounts, allies, we have a new ship in there, a new Mag Rider, and then we have a bunch of new costumes, so if we go over to the costumes area we have a bunch of stuff here so if you're missing stuff like this anything in here you can try to farm them uh this is from composting certain trophies if you're not sure how to get moonlight bulbs just remember that they do decay if you log off for more than three hours so you basically just lose them you can't hoard them so on the day of the update you can just farm these or just leave your pc on and don't and just have your character moving at all times but that's probably not the best thing to do so with the moonlight bulbs you can go to either uh permafrost or uh fey forest one of the two i'm not sure if there's more in one place than the other but i'm pretty sure but i usually just farm them in fey forest it's up to you guys i think they're a little bit more easy easier to farm over there but i could be wrong let me know in the comments and yeah i guess i'll do a little bit of a showcase just to show you guys what these look like so if you're interested in any of these i can just show you guys and yeah let's get started with that all right let's start over here with the mount so i'm just gonna craft each one and then i'll just show you what they look like in case you guys want to craft them i guess i can go through the costumes and all that stuff too but i guess we'll see in a second here so we'll just go ahead and craft all of these uh, those are going to be the resources you can pause it if you want to but pretty sure i should have all of these i hope all right we got them all crafted let's take a look here so recently acquired i wait i don't know how the, oh it's on show all i see this is in my inventory at the moment all right so we got this one over here so this looks like one of the regular griffin mounts so it kind of also looks like uh there's a pink dragon called uh plush pseudo dragon kind of reminds me of that um let's go over here kind of reminds me of this uh this little guy over here but it seems kind of seems kind of interesting i don't know i probably wouldn't use it it can also glide so if you're into that there's a lot of mounts that do that but there's that one i probably don't want to make this too long because i'll go on forever but uh going on to the next one we have cami of hops so oh, oh wait, it's a little kangaroo i actually didn't know all right this, this is kind of cool uh it's similar to the kangaroo mount we had for i think it was the april event so pretty cool he doesn't glide so there's that Let's go on to the next one so we have the roaming taco i don't know if we have a taco oh wait, this is, <laughs> i did not expect it to be like this it's like a little animal uh i guess that's interesting has legs taco saddle um yeah i don't know if you're into tacos then that's kind of cool i guess shout outs to the uh, soft shells out there then we got a paper airplane this does not look like a paper airplane but at the same time kind of a little bit uh, it glides i don't know there's not really much else it would be really cool if these actually had vfx but they don't they just seem kind of plain but if it had vfx then the game would probably crash anyway let's go on to the chaos crafter to get the next set of things so going on to the allies i don't know if you guys really care about these but i'll still kind of talk about them let me just craft them all here we got the killer queen this is gumbert the gumbot i'm just not gonna even bother naming these there's there's so many in here all right we crafted all the allies i did get a mastery level up so i'm at 917 it's gonna go a little bit higher because i will be getting the costumes as well so let's go over to recently acquired so after the paper airplane, we have, oh wait, let me let me do that just so you can actually see it. So there's a little uh, ladybug fairy thing. I, I, don't, I don't know. It reminds me of the boomeranger thingy. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think really much else to say there. Uh, here we got Gumbot. We got some gumballs in here. We get a better angle here. It doesn't have a, oh, there we go. That's the face. Wait, it looks like a basketball hoop. I guess that's the mouth. Anyway, a uh, little robot there. Let's go on to the next one. Here we have a fish, I think. Phineas the Fierce. He's uh, he's pretty fierce. He's in a little snow globe. Oh, he rolls. Wait, does he roll? Oh yeah, he rolls around. Uh, nice. It's like a little hamster wheel. Anyway, got a cool little fish. <laughs> next we have a showy snowy. Oh, this one's... Oh, he's got a little cane. That's sick. Right, I kind of like this one. Oh, it matches my hat. Wait, oh my god, I just realized. Matches my hat, kinda. He's got like a little red thing on it, and then mine's like a uh, blue snowy theme winter event. But let's see, does he roll around? Kind of? Yeah, he kind of rolls around, jumps around. Moving on to the next ally, we got the Rondir the Resplendent. So put that there. And it looks like it's a little dragon type thing. It's got some wings. It kind of looks like one of the soul dragons. I'm not sure which exact one. It also has the uh, the twin head, the twin head dragon. Not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, but uh, kind of reminds me of that, but... 
kind of cool next up uh two of these alloys are basically from the uh delves boss so if you don't know what that looks like that's basically him uh you can also find him in uh, treasure isle so that's the green version and then the uh, blue version is the same pretty much just blue then here we got a mouse. I don't know if we actually have a mouse ally, but now we do. Uh, just ignore the little dragonfly over there, but here we go. A little mouse ally. I feel like I've seen someone's profile picture like this, but anyway, we move on. Uh, here we got a Balefire Caterpillar. There isn't really much to that, just a caterpillar. We've seen similar amounts to this before. And last but not least, an animated power cell. So this is basically the uh, these things over here. You collect this in Sundered Uplands, and I guess they decided to make an ally of it. Now, moving on from the allies, we have a ship here. So we got the Red Lantern, so I'll just learn that real quick, and then we'll see what that looks like. We'll equip it with the sail, so we'll see what that looks like together. So if we do that, there we go. Uh, pretty cool boat. Uh, let me go to like an actual water area real quick to show you guys. All right, so I made like a little water area here with the uh, Primordial Dragon. So here we go. This is the boat. A little better showcase for that, I guess. So... Here it is. Nothing much to it. The turn rate's pretty terrible, but uh, I guess, I don't know, most ships are. But uh, yeah, there we go. We don't have any wings, but we do have a mag rider. I'll just learn that real quick. 500 positive karma, so if you don't have that, then you're probably going to want to farm for those. I do have guides for how to get those. So I'll just equip that, and there we go. This is it. Uh, it's like a gardening-themed one, I guess. There's some plants, and I don't really know what those are in the back, but a little dance one. Doesn't really light up, nothing too fancy about this. And last but not least, we got the costumes. So I guess, so if you're not too sure on how to get water, you basically just craft a sponge in the gardening bench and then just go to water that's uh, not at the hub, but just out. And you can either go to the Drowned World or uh, Medieval Highlands. They both got water. You can just spam the sponges there. Mighty Soul, this is going to take me a while to get, but this is the trophies you get from, I'm pretty sure, uh, Shadow Tower bosses and Aifera. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure uh, the Leviathans also give you this. But I'm pretty sure it's just the Shadow Tower ones as well. So those two. And then for Moonlight Bulbs, you want to go out into... I usually go into Fey Forest. You can go over there and farm some. Just remember that if you log off for more than three hours, they will decay, so you just won't have them anymore. You can also farm them in Permafrost, but I usually just do it in Fey Forest. And I'll just go through each one. So we got the Knight for the first one, so I'll just craft that real quick. So I'll just go ahead and equip all of that. So this is the costume that we got for the Knight. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't really use it. There's, a. Uh... I like my uh, old one for night. Yeah, I'm not too sure. This is what he looks like. Not not too bad. Moving on, we got the pirate captain here. So if you want to pause for the resources, you can check it out right there or you can check in game, whatever really works for you. Over here to the pirate captain. We'll just go ahead and throw that on. So this is what the pirate captain looks like. It's basically that up there, that giant statue. And that's just the pirate captain form. Got the little bird and then you can probably get an ally that matches with that. I don't really want to go out looking for one, but basically that's, that's it. That's the power captain. I guess I can just show off the abilities too, just so you can see what they look like. I don't think Knight really has anything, but uh, yeah, that's what that's going to look like. All right, so I went out of my way to craft the resources for this uh, Ice Age costume. So let's go ahead and craft that real quick. Got a cool little level up from that. Anyway, so let's go over to the Ice Age and then we'll throw all of that on. And there we go. This is the Ice Age costume. Just don't mind the aura. I don't know. That's basically it. There's a little bubble effect. I don't no not sure if that's from my aura if that's from the actual costume itself uh, that's basically what this one's gonna look like and then we got the icicles and i don't really think there's oh there's a cool little bubble maybe the bubble is from the costume because it's from this that's kind of cool actually oh and then the little swirl oh yeah, yeah the effects from this costume is actually pretty sick not gonna lie next let's move on to the shadow hunter costume so the annoying part about this is not only do you need a tier three to five resource from here so if you're brand new it might be a little bit tricky but if you're also brand new you might struggle a lot getting this costume because you need starfire dragon egg fragments and that's kind of a pain to get you get these very rarely from world bosses doesn't really mention it in the description, but when you open up the shadowy vaults from Delves, you can also get it from there. Super rare. I've been playing this game since 2019, and that's how many I have. 85. So you can tell that this is not the easiest thing to really farm for. And I really have no idea why they included Starfire Dragon Egg Fragments for a costume, but that's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. And for the Shadow Hunter, let's put on the costume, and this is what it's going to look like. Uh, it's not too bad. It kind of hides the face, which is cool. The color scheme is interesting. Uh, here's the abilities. Um, wait, can I? I can't use my other one, can I? Uh, the arrows won't really do much, but I kind of want to get my ultimate. All right, so if we fire the arrows, oh my god, that, that looks sick! Shooting that at a boss. That, okay, that looks really cool. Not gonna lie. And then the arrows. There's it's like a pinkish purple kind of aura. You can just see the arrows firing away like that. 
Uh, not too bad, actually. I kind of like the costume and the effects from it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? We have an Ashley Trash impersonator. That's, that's supposed to be me. Although, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I guess the that L is an I or something. Someone's impersonating me here. So, I guess if something ends up happening and you get a random message from me, it's, not, it's probably not me. Hopefully, you guys can use some common sense and figure out if it's actually me or not. So... I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, let's move on to the Fae Trickster. So let's craft that costume real quick and let's put on everything here. So here we have the Fae Trickster costume. I really like the owl one better, but I guess this is uh, that one. Let me get the... I throw on Chronomatic just so I can get my ultimate faster, just so we see what that looks like. All right, so here we go. And that's going to be the ultimate right there. So th these are just going to fire at the boss. Uh, kind of interesting. The effects are pretty cool. Nice little VFX. I don't know, I'm not that much of a fan of the costume, but if you guys are, you can definitely try that out. Next, we got the candy barb, so let's craft that real quick. It's kind of costly with the resources if you're brand new. Alright, so let's throw all of this on. So it's pretty similar to the other costume that I had. Here, let me just do this so my screen's not red. And uh, yeah, not too bad actually. I like the I like the color scheme, the, the blue and the darkness to it. And then let me just do this so we can see what the ultimate looks like. Ooh. All right, all right, not too bad. And this is the little swirly effect that we got and we'll spin. All right, not too bad. I think this would go great with some auras. So if you have some cool auras, then you can definitely try that out for Candy Barb if you play them. Moving on, we got Neon Ninja over here. So let's craft that. All right, cool. Let's throw all of this stuff on. So here we have the Neon Ninja. I am really not used to this. What the heck? The sword is just tiny. Uh, he is kind of interesting. And uh, it reminds me of something, but I'm not too sure. Maybe something Star Wars related, a shark. I, I, don't, I really have no idea. But this sword is just extremely tiny. This is the one that I usually use. It's a gi giant little melee weapon. Pretty cool. Doesn't really match the costume that much, although it kind of does. I don't know. I'm not too much of a fan of this, but if you guys want to try it out, you can. Uh, maybe you guys like it. My opinions are just my opinions, so just don't take that personally, please. All right, next we got the Gunslinger, so it looks like we'll need a bit of crystals for this and some other resources. That's fun as well. Got a cool little level up. All right, so let's throw all of this on. And here we go. This is the Gunslinger. Uh, it looks similar to his other costumes, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's the VFX for it. We got his ultimate. Yeah, there isn't really much going on here. Uh, kind of same as, I don't know. Just reminds me of his other costumes. There's better, better ones for uh, Gunslinger. And I don't know what his face is supposed to be. He kind of just looks like a penguin or a bird in the astronaut suit. Uh, yeah, I have, I have no idea. All right, we're not even halfway done. Uh, Dracolite, let's move on to that one. Looks like you'll need some fragments for these as well, but this is pretty easy to get. You just get this from Infinium. Uh, the drop rates aren't terrible compared to the Starfire, so don't worry about that too much. And here we go, this is the Draco. He doesn't really look like Draco from this angle, but let's see, primary fire. I like the color scheme for that one. Looks pretty cool. This is the little minions, the Draco eggs, and then the ultimate, the giant dragon. Uh, this is what he's going to look like. He's, I don't even know, is it a dinosaur, I'm guessing? That, that's what he is. He's a giant dinosaur. There's a tiny mount. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. That's Draco. Not, not too bad. I, I probably wouldn't use this in my opinion, but that's just me. Next up, we got the Boomeranger. So this class is pretty good. So we'll see if the costume is any good. All right, let's throw all of that stuff on. And wait, is this supposed to be a flamingo? I think. I don't know how I feel about it because the, the helmet slash face, I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, I didn't even put on the whole costume. Okay, there we go. This is what he's supposed to be. Uh, still not too sure how I feel about it. The, the helmet slash face is what's getting me, but I guess everything else is fine, maybe? Uh, this is the bow version. Uh, here, let me put on the other version, so we'll do the melee. Oh wait, I don't have my melee. Alright, well that's a little awkward. I have it on my uh, live servers account, but I don't know. I guess just imagine something similar to that, and then this is just the ultimate. And then the, uh, where's the boomerang? Right, there we go, the boomerang's right there. And yeah, not, not too bad. I don't know. I feel like there's other better costumes for Boom Ranger, but that's just my take on it. Next up, we got the Tomb Razor. So I feel like I'm not going to like it, but we'll see what this looks like. Also another costly item if you're new. All right, so let's throw that on. And yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> just kind of looks like a Shadow Tower boss, in my opinion. But that's the minion. That's the other minions. Uh, and then we got that one as well. And sometimes that can be a giant version of that. So yeah, that's that's Tomb Raider for you. I'm not a fan of this one either. So hopefully we can find one that I actually do like. Maybe you guys like it though. So don't take my word for it. All right, so for the trophy to get this thingy, so the Mighty Soul Tangle, I'm not entirely sure on which ones, but I'm just going to the compost. I have a bunch of trophies here. It looks like this one, the C455 Andra Proxy Wall Trophy. Do you have any of those? I have no idea which one that even is. Some random enemy. I guess just be on the lookout for the marketplace if you want to get these. So let's just do that. And that should get me an extra 12 from what I already had. Yeah, so I'm already at 14. 
So let me see if I can find more of those. All right, so it looks like there's another instance of this. So we got the Trojan Propagator Wall Trophy. So we got seven of those because I have seven here. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any more of those. So, so far, just those two from what I'm noticing. So I guess the other ones is you get it from the Weeping Prophet Trophy, the Watt Son of Stars Trophy. So this is from the Sundered Uplands, this is Shadow Towers. This one is Leviathans, but I'm pretty sure that a Pharaoh one does not do this one. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it. And then we have another Sundered Uplands Trophy here. So we'll just uh, collect those. Oh, we also have the Spike Walker. So there we go. That's how you get some of those. Okay, I was wrong. So Ifera does give it to you as well. So Leviathans, Cindered Uplands, Shadow Towers, and then there's like a couple of random ones like this one, for example. So we'll just collect those as well. All right, so we'll go over here to the costumes and craft the one for the Revenant. So that's how you get your Mighty Soul Tingles. And I kind of like the costume I already have for Revenant, but I'll just see what this looks like. So we'll just throw all of that on. And kind of looks like a bumblebee boss type thing. Here's the spears. Uh, let me do the ultimate. I don't have chronomatic. Let me put that on. So this is going to be the ultimate. A giant little fire vortex thing. Kind of interesting, kind of not. And then the uh, shield bash. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's the revenant costume. Next, we got lunar lancer. So starfire fragments. That's that's pretty cool, isn't it? Ooh, we got some radiant sovereigns. Looks like I'm, I'm still leveling up, making some good progress. We're at 920 total mastery. So this is the costume for the Lunar Lancer. This kind of does look like the Starfire Dragon in a way. If you go to the if you go to the mount itself, this is the Starfire Dragon. It actually does kind of match, so you can kind of see from the head shape and then the color scheme going on here. So that's going to be one of Lunar Lancer's abilities there, the, that one. And then I, I can't be asked to do the, the ultimate, it's going to take too long. But yeah, not too bad. I kind of like this costume. I might actually consider using it, but we'll see. All right, it took me a long time to farm, maybe like 10-ish minutes, 15 minutes at max, but I don't think it took that long. But I got enough Moonlight Bulbs to craft the costume here, Baleful Blossom, for the Chloromancer. So let's check that out. All right, let's put everything on. And this is it. This is the costume here. It's an interesting kind of look. He looks like he's a very OP character, but he also looks like he's from World of Warcraft or something. So uh, here's the plants. That's what that looks like. Here's the other plants. Uh, this is my M4 or M, uh, M5 ability. And then let's see what my ultimate looks like. Let's throw that. It's probably just going to be the bigger version of my uh, other thing. So there it is. My turrets over here. And then these are the little turrets. Uh, wait, my ultimate was still up. That's the little turret. So that's the costume for Chloromancer. Let's move on to the final four, I think. Yeah, okay, final four. All right, so we got Dino Tamer. Uh, another kind of annoying resource to get. Sentient Shards and Charged Circuits for new players. All right, so let's put all of that on. And this is it. This is the Dino Tamer one. Uh, oh, ignore the mounts. But uh, I don't know. It kind of, kind of reminds me of Vanguard, in my opinion. I'm just going to put on the Chronomatic just so we can see what the stuff looks like. That's my net right there. And then... Here's the Dino Tamer here. Yo, wait, he's got a spear. Wait, is that supposed to be like that? He's got a little spear for the nose. Okay, that looks pretty OP, not gonna lie. And then that's gonna be the Dino Tamer minion thing. He looks a little bit different, not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, that's Dino Tamer. All right, final three. We got the Vanguard. Let's put this on. We got a little purple theme. Ignore the mount there. And he kind of looks like a Halloween costume mixed with a football type thing. I don't know. So that's the laser. This is what he looks like with that i guess and then that's what that looks like it's pretty cool actually i think i would i would main him for this costume maybe we'll see probably not but the costume isn't that bad i like the the vfx are pretty cool all right so for bard let's craft the costume there let's put all of this on and here we go this is bard he looks like an astronaut we already had an astronaut not that much of a fan there's that ability and then the ultimates and then that's the backflip there's not really a whole lot to bard but yeah it's gonna be him and then the final class solarion you need 10 phoenix modes so if you don't have those you should probably get those assuming you're going for max mastery at least so uh, let me put this stuff on for solarion get all of that going and here he is this is actually an interesting kind of look it's a kind of halloweeny type theme it looks like so this is the ultimate uh, pretty op looking uh my m2 that, that thing right there that i summon and then my uh, m5 i don't know if i did that did i do that right my okay so that's my m5 oh yeah okay my m2 is uh that one okay i see i see and then we got the uh the good old ultimate all right, that's going to be all the costumes and basically everything else to it. Did that even put me at max? Looks like a lot of people are ahead of me in mastery. There's certain things that I haven't finished yet. But hopefully you guys like the showcase. Uh, I don't know if I'll do more of those in the future because that took a long time to do. Unless it's like a little bit like uh, Luxian, I can probably show those off or something. But I don't know. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. But I did go out of my way to farm the like the moonlight bulbs, the water, and then the... Or is it not the moonlight bulb? This thing right here, the mighty soul tangle. So it took me a little bit to farm, but... 
got through at the end and that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys have enjoyed drop a like subscribe if you're new or if you find yourself coming back and i will talk to you all later